Cindy Axney believes fixing our roads and bridges would go a long way toward fixing our economy. But first and foremost, let's get infrastructure passed. Iowa is dead last when it comes to the, our derelict bridges. We have waterways um, and uh, sewer systems that are 100 years old, ripe for failure. Not to mention the broadband that we need to extend across this country so that people in Iowa's third district all have top-notch connectivity at a price that they can afford. You know, particularly, you think about what's happening right now with uh, the pandemic and the economy. We want to make sure that we get our economy uh, where it was five or six months ago. And we know what that recipe is, and that's low taxes, uh, it's low regulations, and it's economic certainty. It's allowing the Iowans to have more of their hard-earned dollars. They're going to have to extend the, uh, the benefits for people that are out of work. It all leads to creating more debt, but as I've said before, our national debt is never going to be paid off uh, in dollars that are worth any purchasing power. So, you know, it's uh, it's sort of a fact, it's a catch-22. We've, we've got to help people out, but uh, at some point we have to face the fact that the money uh, is not going to be repaid. Holder does not support raising the minimum wage because he says it would cause more businesses to cut more employees. Cynthia Fodor, 